Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new Fucked Tots player review here on FIFA 18. Today we're looking at team of the season, Malcolm. That's right, the Brazilian 89 rated winger who plays his football in the French League 1 has got a monstrous item with 90 pace, 87 shooting and passing and also, well, just a casual 93 dribbling in game. He's 5'7 with the medium, medium work rates. He's left footed out on that right hand side side but it's it's okay because he's got four star skills and four star weak foot to work with so I've got a couple squad options for you today the first one full-on Brazil team playing Malcolm out a little bit wider and the right wing spot in the 4-3-3 um, however the team I was actually using him in brings him into that right forward spot to, to really get him involved in the action and act as like a, another attacker in my team uh, and this is a mix between the French league gun and also the Calcio a we've got lots of good players in there including three Tots items. So moving on into the in-game stats. Malcolm this year the only upgrade that he's had is actually his ratings refresh uh, and just had a consistently good season I would say. Uh, on basic chemistry style it, it looks incredible 490s stats with that uh, and then as you can see uh, I've gone with the maestro chem style today just because it gets him up to 97 dribbling, 94 shooting and 92 passing. That's, that's some awesome stats for a player that is going to be trying to look to to assist goals as well as score them himself and we have you know like 92 finishing 99 long shots uh, and, and some really really nice dribbling stats as well in game so moving on into the clips you're going to see all of the goals that I was able to score with the Brazilian uh, and to be honest it wasn't very difficult because he's a really really fun and interesting and great player on FU. there are however a couple of things that are worth noting not massive issues with this player but there's always a couple negatives to talk about you know certain things that maybe I don't quite like um, firstly height and strength he is only five foot seven and of course he doesn't possess much strength he's got this tiny little he's, he's got this tiny little physique and he, you know he's a very small player and stuff uh, anytime you bump into or run into uh, any form of tough defender or not even a, a necessarily tough defender, just someone with a bit more strength than him, obviously that's not going to end well. Uh, so what you need to do is utilize the, the dribbling and skill move and, and all of that sort of stuff that he has at his disposal in order to stay away from those defenders. And that particular goal right there where I just stop sprinting and then just almost turn all the way back on myself was a great example of how you can use the tight close control that is going got to to evade defenders uh, also when I say sprint speed here, I don't mean to say that he's slow, uh, but there is just a massive difference between his actual acceleration and his sprint speed. Acceleration is actually the first positive that we're going to talk about, um, but overall, the he seems to get up to, to speed real quick, and acceleration is phenomenal. However, there's there's just like this little bit of a drop off, and then he feels like a, a relatively quick player. But we're moving into team of the season now. There are so many players that are completely and utterly rapid that. I just fear that maybe in, in, in a couple of weeks time a player like this might be easily caught up uh, once he gets up to full speed. So that's the negatives and we sort of uh, talked about how good the acceleration is there for our first positive. What I really love about Malcolm is his agility and balance. Those stats are you know right up there in terms of like high overalls uh, and then the probably the best bit about this player is his like messy like dribbling he is very messy esque on the ball he's been given enough like dribbling boosts and of course we've helped it with the maestro chemistry style that when you slow it down and do some close control dribbling and moving with the ball ltrt dribbling it's crazy how close that that touches to his feet how he can weave through defenders is silky it's like they're not even there and i really really love that about the brazilian it's probably my favorite thing about him in general it's just the way he moves with the ball um and then once you're in in control of of a player like this uh, all you need is to be able to one distribute it to your fellow teammates and to be able to actually score goals with him. And and that's sort of what the, the final couple of positives are about here. He's got amazing vision and his passing stats are right up there. And again, we've helped it out with the Maestro Chem style somewhat. Um, but he can like pick out short passes really good. His long passing seems solid as well. You know, crossfield balls, little crosses into the box for a player like Cavani. Um, and then his shooting is just next level with that left foot. You can see that last goal that we've just scored right there. An absolutely 
sublime volley. Nat just came out of nowhere. His reactions were great, and he just absolutely swung his left foot through it. Um, you can get away with taking shots on the right foot as well, of course. You can also skill inside and then hit a, a curved shot with that stronger left foot. Over, overall, probably the best tots I've used so far. I've only used a few, but I really enjoy Malcolm, and I'm looking forward to the next opportunity that I get to use him in a squad, because he seems like a real fun player. So there you go, guys. High praise for a player like this. Let me know if he's right for your ultimate team. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.